Welcome to Opening Acts uh, on Chicago Founders TV. Opening Acts where we profile exciting new companies that are uh, coming out, and they often, in, in the case of today, are investments we've made at Chicago Ventures. Um, we have Desiree Vargas Wrigley, a well-known entrepreneur here in Chicago. Uh, welcome, Desiree. Thank you. Great to have you. So uh, first, um, maybe tell us a little bit, you're not a first-time founder. You've already founded a company, and um, you went through uh, what now known as tech stars. So maybe just give people a sense of your prior history so we have a, a little context of you going into this new venture. Yeah, thanks. Um, I am one of the co-founders of a company called Give Forward. We were one of the first crowdfunding sites in the world and we over time specialized in helping loved ones who are dealing with a major medical issue um, and basically any major life event that requires funding and additional resources. And we grew that company to about 45 people um, and then I brought on a new CEO last year and have now moved on to my new company. Great. So um, talk a little bit about Parachute. People may not be familiar with it. It's a certainly a clever name and we're excited to be invested. Uh, yeah, so Parachute is a monthly membership club that makes it easy for parents and caregivers to discover, book, and drop into the best kids activities in your city, all at the touch of a button for one affordable rate. Got it. So um, how the, where did the idea come from? So. I have two kids. I have a four and a half year old and a two year old and they are rambunctious boys and so I was looking for things to put them in and my oldest son loves soccer and swimming so we signed him up um, but then about after the first session like three weeks into the second session he refused to go to swimming and you know we were paying monthly and it was such a headache and I was calling to cancel and I was calling to cancel soccer and realized that there just has to be a better way for parents to be able to not only cancel from your phone but find new things to do. Got it. And um, what's for people who don't have kids or, or their kids aren't at those kind of ages anymore, uh, what what's the status quo look like and, and how did you, what's the experience look like for the status quo and then what's the experience look like now that a mom or dad's using So American families uh, spend on average about $200 per kid uh, per month for activities starting at a very young age and that um, allows them to do you know, swimming, soccer, ballet, uh, but when your kid is 18 months old they usually don't want to do things for 12 weeks but the little kids activities follow the same uh, se session pattern as older kids activities and so because of this parents end up wasting millions of dollars a year across the United States um, on classes that they don't attend and also then they get a little gun shy and they don't want to try new classes because their kid didn't like art last time so they're not going to try another art class. So what we do is we help keep families in the kids activity ecosystem. We help prevent the 70% churn that happens from session to session for a lot of families um, and we make our partners money by filling uh, classes that go unfilled. Got it. And so uh, what kind of traction do you have to date? Like, how, how's it going? It's going really well. I and mean, we're only about 150 days old, so still pretty young. Uh, but we've been growing 27% week over week uh, since we launched, which is really exciting. Um, and yeah, I mean, revenue's good. It's not profitable yet, but it's not supposed to be. So yeah, we're planning on City 2. That's great. And where if you, are you ready to say where City 2 would be? No? OK. I mean, I, I'm ready to. I know it, I'm just not ready to say it. Absolutely. She's very secretive. I, we had a Chicago Ventures um, Summit, and one of the guys told me what was going on. She said, how do you know? I said, I work here, but we're your investors. Keeps it very, clo very close to the chest. So these are very exciting developments. So if you had to think about, um, describe to people, like, what does this look like in five or 10 years? Like, what's the ultimate vision look like? Well, I definitely think that there are parents and children in every city across America who fall into our current market, um, parents looking for something fun to do with kids under five. But we also know that there's just a lack of interesting things to do with your kids on the weekends, no matter what age they're in. So we really see parachute being the destination for family activities in the future. And what age ranges, what the whole country, like what are we talking about? We're going to stick to zero to five for a while, but we do offer classes up to 12 right now, and we will offer 18 and under classes. And is this something that could work in the suburbs, work in different places? Is it? Yeah, I think that this is, you know, not an, just an urban opportunity at all. I think most, if you look at the franchises in the kids' space, most of them are in cities that are suburbs of a major metropolitan area. So I think that will be a great target for us as we expand. And do you see building your staff here in Chicago in the next year or two? Absolutely. So our team is seven right now, but we don't have in-house tech, so we should double that team hopefully in the next six months. So if you're looking for great engineers? Yeah, please, especially if you like working with kids or awesome. kids' ideas. Great. Well, this is really exciting. Congratulations. Okay, Thank you. Bet. Great to see you.